Okay, my tape is rolling, and uh, the FCC says that I have to ask your permission to record this for later broadcast. Do I have your permission? Yes, you do. Okay, Lee Farrell, brand new artist on TMS Records. Is that right? TMS, Rick. That's exactly right. It's a uh, it's a brand new label, and uh, I'm uh, I'm really excited to be the first uh, artist to be released on that label, and. Uh, TMS looks like it's going to be a, uh, just a terrific label to be on because it's it's the kind of situation where uh, uh, we, we have more of a family than we do a business organization. And, uh, you know, some, some, of the, some of the big labels, some of the great big labels, if, you're, if you uh, are just getting started as a singer, and I've been in the music business for a lot of years and, and worked with a lot of uh, a lot of other people but as uh, I was telling you earlier this is my first record and uh, I think I'm in a terrific situation being on T TMS. Well it looks like that uh, TMS has kind of staked their fortunes on you at this point, right? That's that's exactly right. That's 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 the way it's going and of course they'll they'll have uh, they they'll be releasing other other singers as they go along, but boy, it's great to be the first one, you know? Especially with the uh, the success that your record's having so far. Your first record is called Crossbar Hotel. Crossbar Hotel. And uh, which we are playing, and which we like very much here at KTIB. Uh, how is it doing elsewhere around the country? Well, it's, Rick is doing real good. I mean, we're, we're uh, uh, really excited about the, uh, the reaction in really in all areas of the United States, you know, um, from everywhere from Los Angeles to Wisconsin to Florida and over to Louisiana, and, uh, you know, everybody is, uh, everybody's being real nice, and uh, uh, it seems like people are liking it, and, and we like it too, so we're happy. <laughs> Does it look like it is going to be a major hit, or do you think it's just something that will help you get established? Um, I tell you, Rick, I, I, I look at it like this, um, the, uh, the way it's going, um, it's just so unreal to me that, uh, uh, that, well, the promoters say, I'm having trouble answering that question, <laughs> the promoters say it looks like it's going to go real good, you know, mm -hmm. and they were, they were telling me, uh, that, uh, that uh, it looks like it'll it'll hit the charts, you know, in a in a couple of weeks, which is you know really good because it's only been it's only been out to the stations now for uh, what about six weeks, something like that, something yeah. like that. So uh, I I'll be real I'll be real happy if it's uh, if it's a, a, a substantial success enough to get my name around so that when the next record comes along, you know, everybody will at least say, oh, yeah, I've heard of him. Who is he? But I've heard of him, <laughs> you know. Well, just, just the fact that you're doing things like this interview uh, with somebody a couple of thousand miles away from you is pretty good, considering that that's your first record for a brand-new label. Why do you think yours, uh, yours has had some measure of success when others don't? I tell you, um, it's because, t to me, uh, just like uh, during this, uh, during the interview with you, first of all, uh, I appreciate the fact that you're doing an interview with me. I appreciate the fact that KTIB is playing the record, and I appreciate the fact that people are listening to it. And to me, it, it, it's just as important uh, uh, to to talk to you as it is to talk to anybody in the world right now. And every one of the details that I can do, you know, uh, they all add up to an impression. And uh, if the impression is strong enough, then, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to go somewhere. So uh, I like to do everything I can do, you know. I like to do all the interviews I can, and uh, and uh I mean, I, I, I just hope I can get to be a big enough star so that if I ever come through Louisiana, you'll invite me out to have seafood or something like that, you know? <laughs> well, you, you can come by and do that anytime. 
and we uh, we can always fix you up a plate of crawfish somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe some sausage jambalaya or one of those other things. Oh, man, that sounds great. <laughs> it is. I tell you, have you done any touring? I've done... Uh, I've, I've done touring, like, the past 15 years, Rick. Uh, I've, uh, I, I worked for quite a number of years with the Righteous Brothers. I, I started out uh, working with them, playing piano. Uh, I went from playing piano to playing piano and being their musical conductor, and then I was their piano player and their road manager, and, uh, so we've been all over everywhere with uh, with those guys, you know, and they uh, they were great to work with, and I learned a whole bunch with them, you know. So uh, uh, yeah, we've done a lot of touring, but I, as as my own self, you know, most of the touring that I have done has been working in the uh, uh, in Nevada, in Reno, Lake Tahoe, and Vegas, what we call the Nevada circuit, you know in the lounges there with my own group, and I would do that in between uh, working with the Righteous Brothers or working with Bill Medley when he was, uh, you know, on his own, so forth. So, yeah, I've done a lot of traveling, but not not so much in your area uh, as Lee Ferrell, you know. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking forward to that, because one of the great things about having a a successful record is, uh, let's say, uh, let's say I don't even make a penny off the record. It's just that I get a, uh, I get a lot of publicity from it, and then if I come through Louisiana or Georgia or Texas or wherever it might be, then, you know, people are going to come to see what I do if they like what I do over the radio, you know? Mm-hmm. Lee, one problem that, um, that you artists especially on, uh, on lesser-known labels, and I'm not trying to knock anybody, but uh, a new artist on uh, a new label has a tremendous problem because people that hear the record and like the record go out to buy it, and they can't find it. Right. Do you know if anything, uh, you may not be the right one to ask on this, but do you know if the TMS has done anything about that? Well, uh, first of all, uh, until you get until you get some, some substantial airplay, one of the one of the one of the hard things is to getting is is getting record uh, record stores to take your record on a small label and an unknown artist. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. So the way it has worked out, uh, we're getting a lot of airplay, as I said, in in uh, most all the regions of the United States. And now we're starting to get calls from uh, uh, record stores wanting to know how they can get the record and this kind of thing. So uh, what you're saying is exactly right, and it seems to me that the... And I tell you, I I worry about that, because if you get, you know, if you get uh, airplay, people listen to it, they go to the stores, if they can't get the record, most of them don't ever go back, mm-hmm. you know. So you're on a real fine line there about how far, uh, you know, how far, how long you're going to last if you don't get the records in the stores. But it's one of the, you know, it's one of the problems that, that we're faced with, and you know, we're we're uh, or the record company's working on it, and they're, you know, they're they're starting to get uh, a lot of orders now for the stores and. Uh, I just hope it'll be covered because I know a lot of a lot of guys who've had pretty good success on the radio, but if they don't have the record sales to to, to keep everything rolling, they lose it all. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. Did that answer your question? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I know we've uh, we've run into problems before where the uh, uh, record store will call us and ask us if we know where they can buy. Mm-hmm. And, of course, we're, we'd have nothing at all to do with sales. Mm-hmm. So right. we generally can't help them out with that. Well, all I can say is if, you know, if, uh, if the record stores in, in your area, you know, if, if, if they want some records, you know, all I can say is to call uh, 
EMS records in Los Angeles, and and uh, and they'll sure get some, you know. Okay, well, that I sure thank you for calling, Lee, and we wish you very, very good luck. Uh, I think Crossbar Hotel is going to do well for you. I know it's doing well here, and uh, your album the same. Well, Rick, I I, I want to thank you for uh, you know having me on uh, KTIB, and uh, uh, it's really really a pleasure for me to talk to nice people like yourself, and I I sure hope we can meet uh, in person one day and sit down and have a drink together or something. How about a plate of crawfish? Oh, that's even better. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you, Lee.